Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is the sharing concept, how it's configured, and also the kind of um, the the way that sharing is linked to this concept of user groups. Okay, so when we do our sharing, we typically do them with user groups. So I know in our example, like when you were configuring your program, um, I asked you to share it with your user. Okay, and that's because just because we didn't have all the user groups set up, right? Traditionally, if you're sharing a program with many people in your system, it might be hundreds or thousands even, you know, doing it per user, that's going to be kind of impractical, right? Um, so the better way to do it in most cases is to share it with a user group. So we haven't really discussed user groups very much, but it's something, it's, you know, it's one of the easier concepts, I think, to digest within DHIS2, right? So if I go here to users, Okay, um, so here are some of the user groups that we used in the program that we showed the other day. This is this user, I just logged in as the case registration user. They are part of this. Uh, yeah, they're part of, oh, sorry, I'm in user users. I need to go here to user groups. Okay, so that group of case registration individuals is part of this user group clinic registration. If I look at some of the other groups that are available for the program, we have ANC managers and ANC staff, right? The ANC managers could only view the data, the ANC staff could actually enter data within the program stages, all right? And if I just go to one of them, let's just go to the one that I just opened up, this clinic registration user group, and I open it up, okay? Um, I'll just see kind of the user group itself. It's, it's very simple, right? And we'll go through the process of making one. It's very easy to see. But the main thing is, you know, when I view that user group, 